Nvidia should be scared of AMD because their upcoming Radeon RX 8800 XT could be the end of RTX 4080. The past few months, we have been getting a lot of leaks and rumors about AMD's upcoming RDNA 4 based RX 8000 series GPUs. The ray tracing performance is going to be better, the rasterization performance is going to be better, power consumption is going to be better. However, there are a lot of conflict in those information, especially with the release date. But in a recent video of Moore's Law is Dead, he talked about some really juicy information about RX 8800 XT. Now, if you don't know who Moore's Law is Dead is, he's a leaker and a YouTuber of this computer hardware space with really good track record. But because these informations are leaks and rumors, so always take them with a grain of salt. And none of the information that I'm going to tell you guys in this video are confirmed. Anything and everything can change when the GPUs get launched. First, AMD is not going to release any high-end GPUs for this generation which means that we are not going to see any RDNA 4 or RX 8000 series GPUs which are going to cost $1000 or a lakh of Indian rupees. This is a good thing for both AMD and us. We will be able to buy good GPUs at cheap and AMD looking at the past track record might sell a lot of GPUs. Now let's talk about the upcoming RX 8800 XT. According to Moore's Law is that this GPU is going to have 64 compute units at 2.9 or 3.2 GHz and compute units are AMD's version of GPU core which is four more compute units compared to AMD's current RX 7800 XT. Talking about memory, it's going to have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 at 20 gigabytes per second with a 256 bit memory interface, which is going to be similar to 7800 XT, but a little faster. It is also going to have 96 megabytes of new and improved Infinity cache compared to 64 megabytes in RX 7800 XT. Now let's talk about ray tracing. A lot of rumors have indicated that AMD might be working on a completely new ray tracing architecture for these RDNA 4 based GPUs. This led to a lot of speculation that AMD might add a separate block just for ray tracing accelerator or something like that. Because now with AMD GPUs, we do have ray tracing accelerators, but with per CU base. That means each CU has a separate or a ray tracing accelerator inside of them. According to Moore's Law is Dead's information, we might not see a separate block with a separate ray tracing accelerator on the GPU die, but we might see increased number of ray tracing accelerators per CU. All of this can lead to a very competitive ray tracing performance with RTX 4070 Ti Super and very close rasterization performance with the 4080. And this is not too far fetched though. If we compare the performance difference between the RTX 4080 and the RX 7900 XT, the RTX 4080 is 13% faster compared to the RX 7900 XT according to Tech Power Ups. GPU database. And why I'm comparing the RTX 4080 with the 7900 XT, not with the 7800 XT, it's simple because if this GPU is called the 8800 XT, then it should not only be faster than the last generation in the same segment, but a segment higher. And we can expect all of these performance improvement with similar or lower power consumption. Now let's talk about price and release date. According to Moore's Law is Dell's video, we can expect these GPUs to be priced around 499 to 599 US dollars or 40,000 to 60,000 Indian rupees. Now, the Indian price is speculation from my end based on past trends from AMD. I think the pricing is where AMD has to play their cards right. If this GPU gets to priced at 599, then it must beat the RTX 4070 Ti Super and must closely match the performance in rasterization with RTX 4080 and I'm talking about 5% performance difference. Any less than that, it should be 499. But again, that's what I want, not what going to happen. We will only know what's going to happen when these GPUs get released. And talking about the release date, some people are saying we might see AMD to announce these GPUs at the end of this year. Some are suggesting that AMD might announce these GPUs at Computex next year in the month of May. And in the video, Moore's Law is that suggested that we might see these GPUs at the end of this year. But if I have to speculate, I would say that 
AMD will announce the higher end GPU for this generation at the end of this year and you'll be able to buy these GPUs or at least the high end GPU around the time of Computex and AMD will announce the rest of the lineup at Computex and later you will be able to buy those GPUs. But I could be wrong because last time AMD announced their RX 7000 series GPUs at Gamescom and Currently, Gamescom is happening and while I am recording this video today, AMD will have a briefing of their own and a lot of people are thinking that we might get to see the RX 8000 series. But which I think is very unlikely. So tell me in the comment section, what do you think? When AMD is going to release these GPUs? Do you think at the end of this year or while you watching the video, those GPUs might get released or not? And what do you think, what's the performance is going to like? Let me know in the comment section. Let's have a chat there. And while you're down there, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. If you hated it, let me know why you hated it and feel free to press the dislike button. And if you wanna watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And if you wanna subscribe to the channel, well, do it by here and there's Akash and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.